Hello everybody and welcome back. We are gonna jump right into some small but significant updates. First of all, we are slowly getting a few things moved over. And then, as I mentioned at the end of the last video, this past weekend was dedicated to getting all of the plumbing stuff in the kitchen done. So we are functional here at the sink. Garbage disposal is hooked up and working. Dishwasher is also all hooked up and should be fully functional. Refrigerator is in and making ice. I actually have to dump this out because it's still the first batch. So really exciting developments and everything I really need to function in here is here and ready to go. So I've got an appointment in a little less than an hour and a half to look at window treatments. That's kind of another of the major functional things that we need to get working on. Oh, and I did just place the order for my cabinet lighting both underneath and on top. With the way these cabinet boxes are designed, they shouldn't really interfere with the backsplash installation, so as soon as those arrive, we should be able to get them in pretty quickly. I guess it'll just depend on if I have time to do that or if I'm actually moving other stuff to get in here permanently. It's not a critical thing to have done before moving in, but it would be nice to have it on the run. So until my appointment, I think I'm just gonna do some electrical stuff in this corner. I can do a lot of what's here. I am waiting on a USB combination outlet for here, but I can get the switching in, and then I also brought my light fixtures for above this opening. So I will just go ahead and see what all I can get done. All right, so I got devices in everywhere I could. I also got this one in for the main lights. I don't think I have enough time before my appointment to get these lights completely done, so I'm just going to hold off for the moment. And I have a pretty good idea of what I want for shades, so hopefully this shouldn't take too long and I'll get back to it later. All right, my sconces are up and they add just the perfect touch of warmth and accent lighting. I can't wait to get my countertop in and actually be able to utilize this great little space. So that's pretty much all I have for right now. I kind of jumped right into this project, but the meeting for the window treatments went well. I think we made some great selections. It sounds like hopefully those should be about three weeks out, which should be about ideal for having all of the trim done in the other rooms in time for installation. So things are looking good, progressing right along. I'm going to head out and I will see you back soon for another update. Hello, it's been a little while since my last check-in. I'm coming to you sort of late night from the apartment. Things have been busy on multiple fronts. I've done a few bits and pieces at the condo, which I'll have to catch you up on later. We've had a couple of terribly busy weeks at work, and I've been really trying to do my part there and pull my weight because the next three days I have taken off because I am moving into the condo. So tonight is likely the last night that I will be staying here at the apartment and I'm hoping to make the full transition over there tomorrow. We probably are not gonna get everything moved in these next three days, but we're gonna get the key stuff over there, aim for all of the large pieces of furniture, and then the last bit we can pick away at as time allows. So I'm thinking tonight I'm gonna pull down the fan above the entry door here. I think I'm probably gonna wait on the drone in the bedroom until I get the bed out of there. It's gonna be easier to take down then. Unfortunately, the battery in this camera is almost dead and I do not have a spare on me, so I'm probably just going to go ahead and do this one little project off camera. But I did want to check in, give a little update, and really have just a little bit of documentation of the last night here at the apartment. So if I don't pop back in tonight, I will certainly see you again soon with more exciting updates. Hello, I'm here at the condo day one of getting actually moved in. We've got some of the bedroom stuff here. I'm getting things organized and put away. Out here we've got some of the smaller pieces of furniture, as well as some of the cushions and things from the larger furniture. The little bit of update that I was talking about last night is that I've been working on the under cabinet and over cabinet lighting. Right now the top stuff is kind of just sitting up there. I have to figure out how to mount it properly. Underneath these ones are in. I still have to do these ones on this end. I just need to cut out part of this cabinetry to make them fit the whole length. 
and I need to get wire down here as well, but I need to figure out the placement of these before I can figure out where the wire is gonna come through the wall. And then I also need to expand the box and get in all the new switches and all that business. There are definitely cleaner, less intrusive ways that I could have gone about this, but as long as tile is going on this wall anyways, this was kind of the easiest solution. So I'm hoping I can maybe grab some time in the next few days to tie up some of these loose ends so that it's not just in progress as I'm having to live here now. So that's kind of where we're at and all I've got for now, so I will see you back probably later on for another update. Hello, it is the next day, and apologies for the lack of updates. We've been running around like crazy trying to do everything all at once. This morning we finished moving the rest of the larger furniture over here, so it's really down to just a bit of the smaller stuff left over at the apartment. The bedroom is coming together a bit more. We are trying to avoid placing a number of things though because tomorrow they are going to come and complete the rest of the trim work in a bunch of the areas that are left and they'll do some of the other paint touch-ups and other small things that are left over. This afternoon I have been working on the kitchen lighting project because we want to get the range placed. It'll have to come out again when we do the backsplash and the microwave, but right now I haven't even picked a backsplash so that's not going to happen for a bit and I have to get this range out of the living room because I don't want to work around it for the next who knows how long. So for now, pretty much everything that I can do with the lighting project is done. Like I mentioned before, I still need to figure out how to mount the ones on top, and for now I got temporary switches back in. In the end, I will probably do dimmers on everything again, but for now it's functional. So the first one closest to the sink is the disposal, so you don't have to splash water too far to reach it. The next one is just the light over the sink. I wanted to have this one separate so you could have full functional light here, and then also have the other ones on and dimmed down. I could have done them all together, but I just didn't like the functionality of that. So then the next one is the rest of the under cabinet lighting. And it's amazing, these lights from WAC really worked out well. I was so close to going with tape lights on the majority of this project, but LED is just still not quite at the point where I trust it enough. I wanted to do something that would still be a little bit more universally interchangeable, but I still wanted that really seamless appearance that tape lights offer. These ones from WAC, they're called the Duo because they have two color temperatures integrated. I'm not sure how well that's going to show up on camera. But these are offered in a super wide variety of lengths where I was able to connect them and really fill out these spaces properly. And they also have these super skinny end caps that make the break in the light super minimal so you never see any shadow underneath. This was a project that I went back and forth on and struggled with in so many capacities. But I think in the end it really worked out and I am so thrilled with the result. So then I never did finish with the switching. This last one is the ones on top and right now I only have the first one wired in. Once I figure out that mounting situation, all the rest of the lights just plug into this first one and it'll be done super quick. But for now I've sort of finished the priority points of the project. I can now get cleaned up and actually utilize this kitchen in a more functional way. Super excited to have this project done. This is a vision that I've had since the first time I saw this place. And now I'm super excited to see the rest of it progress and finish up. So that's kind of all I have for now. I'm gonna go try to get some stuff organized and put away and I will see you back again soon. Hello, we are back for another day. Excuse the traffic noise. I have the windows open because per usual, it's a thousand degrees in here. But the paint and trim guys are currently over at the condo finishing that stuff up. So I'm over here at the apartment to just do whatever I can. And I'm gonna start by getting the drone taken down. And I do have the box, so I should be able to get it all packed up. And then from there, we'll see where things progress.
I am back at the condo. I got quite a bit of stuff packed up and ready to bring over here, but I wanted to get back because I figured the guys would be wrapping up. So this is gonna be pretty backlit and hard to see. Let's see if maybe this helps. But they got this whole part done where we had to get a little bit more creative with how this is all set up. They did a fantastic job. I don't think it could really look any better than it does. All of the general little paint touch-ups are done. They did a few little touch-up things in that bathroom and here in the hallway, but we also now have trim on both windows. Excuse the taped on plastic bags. My shades are on order, but they're a few weeks out. So once again, in this lighting, nearly impossible to see, but it's so nice to have this closed up and done. I can also show you that later in the day yesterday, I did get some of the furniture a little bit more laid out and organized. The bedroom is actually looking like a bedroom now, and out here in the living room, it's still a mess, but I did get a few things placed to where you can at least sit down. So it is slowly coming together. Hello, it is the next day. I brought my camera over here with intent to take a few clips before I left and then completely forgot it here. It has been an exhausting 24 hours, not only just with the last bit of moving, but right when I got home to the condo last night, all of my plumbing fixtures in the primary bathroom started backing up. Ended up calling a plumber out because we just could not get anything to break loose. By the time they left and I got to bed, it was 1.30 a.m. They did not resolve the issue last night, so we were actually gonna plan on tomorrow from where I am today. But I woke up this morning to my shower pan being half full with backed up water, and I was supposed to be back at work today after my time off, but I had to call off because I didn't know how to leave that situation in case it backed up more while I wasn't there. So I got the plumbers back this morning, everything is back together and functional again. But since last night, my brain has just been absolute scrambled eggs. Barely slept, I'm really running on nothing here. But since I had to come here to pick up the camera anyways, I wanted to just show you what I was gonna show you yesterday. We are pretty much entirely cleaned out. I just have a pile of some stuff to donate and trash. The ceiling fans are back in their boxes. I will haul those over to my parents' house some other time. But otherwise, overall, we are looking pretty good and we were able to achieve a lot in those three days. Thanks to a lot of sort of earlier prep work and planning, this was pretty seamless. So I'm gonna head out of here and get some food. I really didn't even have lunch today with everything going on. So I need to just get back to whatever new normal I've been establishing and get my wits back about me. And I'm guessing this video is getting a bit long, but it's been so go, go, go the past few days. I'm just putting it all into one. So I will probably see you back at the condo for one or two small updates, and then maybe we'll look at closing this one out. Hello, I've been trying to find time to get back and finish this video for days. After all the moving, I went back to work and then my main coworker went on vacation and now we're training new people for seasonal. It's just a big mess. So it's been a time, but I'm here to close out with a couple things that I've been able to get done in the little bit of free time that I've had. So out here in the living room, I did get the TV up. I don't super love the entire mounting situation here, but there's not really any good way to do it. It's a little bit weird with how low it sits in scale with the wall. However, it's not a very large space, so I didn't want to go up any higher because even as it is, you're kind of having to look up at it from the seating that I do have. So it's one of those things where it just kind of is what it is to be functional. And then the other update is that I have installed a fan in the kitchen. I went with my Kitchler Toto. It's installed on the Lutron 7-speed Maestro. Kind of nice that it matches the other lighting controls that I'm already using, but it's mainly because I get the best range of speeds out of it. This location has been up for a lot of debate for me. I've gone back and forth through several different options in my mind, and I will say this is the one location in the place where this may not be the absolute permanent solution. I made this selection hugely for the function, but also because I thought with all of the other stainless steel in the appliances, this would be a fun place to mix up the finishes a little bit more. I've gone through and looked at a ton of new introductions from a lot of my manufacturer partners, and I still couldn't find anything that I really, really loved for this space. So the search for a really ideal candidate continues. I don't even personally really know what I'm looking for. I think again with all the gray cabinetry and stainless steel in here, this is a location where something in the silver family could work. I could also lean back into the brass, maybe even bring in some wood tone blades. You can always go black to go with the trim. 
a lot of possibilities for this one, which I think is part of what makes it so much harder to narrow down. There are also a lot more size and downrod limitations with how the cabinetry lays out. I was even concerned that 56 inch might be a bit too large for this space, but with the right downrod, it does work. This fan definitely provides way more airflow than this space needs. I don't think it will ever be on high speed. But for now I'm liking it, and I'm sure someday there will be a release that just strikes me as the perfect option for this. And you of course will be the first to know when I find that option. So that's going to do it. I'm going to close this one out. Thank you all for watching today and all of your continued support throughout the year. It is amazing to finally be living here. I just want to thank everybody who's been sticking with me for the crazy year that this has been. Remember to subscribe and ring the notification bell before you leave to get updates for all of my new videos. I'm still super busy trying to get settled in here and get done at the apartment, and I will only get busier at work as we head deeper into the holiday season, so I'm not sure when I'm going to be filming again or when I will see you again. So it might be a little while, but I will keep working and I will be back. Thank you all for watching today and I will hopefully see you again very soon.